So what this is now is we're going to start sh showing you some different things. Um, as a nursery, we use this a lot to test our containers. I have two ways of doing it. I have a soil pH meter and I have a moisture meter. So I use both here at the nursery. A lot of people know that my wife and I, Sue, are one of the top arborists in the industry that specialize in pruning of Japanese maples. So when I actually go out to job sites, I actually take a moisture meter and I actually take a soil meter. Um, a lot of times clients tell me, oh, I've been watering and watering and watering, and they find out that they think they're, they're actually watering the maple. And when I bring in the soil meter to test it for moisture, I actually find out that there's not a lot of moisture going in there, even though they think they're using it. So what we do when we use this moisture meter is that we have it on a, has a meter here, tells you what's going on with moisture, whether it's dry or completely wet. It has a long wand here. So what we do is we stick the wand into the soil and we probe around the plant, around the base of the tree. So typically we don't go near the trunk we always go to the outside of the drip line, which is out in here. Um, because we're in containers here, our drip line is actually wider than the container. So I'm just kind of testing our program to see how the soil is doing. This one, because it got burned, we show that it's a bit drier. Okay, so that is a bit of a problem. So that tells me I need to water a little bit more. Then when I'm putting the soil meter into this little guy here, which is very healthy, um, it tells me right now that we've given it the perfect amount of water that it's healthy and it's not over wet because remember as I said before we don't want to over water them. So the next thing we are going to do is we're going to use a pH meter. So the soil meter for water and the pH meter look very similar. Okay, So this guy now we have is our pH meter. It'll say right on a pH meter. What we're trying to do here is test the pH. Ideally, Japanese maples like a pH of 6.8 to 6.9. 6.5 is best. They're more acidic. But most of the places that we go to, especially here at the nursery and or around our clients, that the soil is typically 7.1 or higher. So, which means you're more alkaline. Alkalinity is actually not very good for a Japanese maple. So when we set this into the soil, and I look at the meter, I want to see 6.6, .6, maybe 7, or 8 is ideal. Um, but on this guy here, and why it burned, is also we're showing a pH of about 7.1. So when I test this one here, the pH is a little bit higher. When I test this little guy here, because we've been watering properly, we've been using the right products, this guy here now with the meter is showing 6.8. So this tree here has the perfect pH, and this tree has a little bit higher pH. How we reduce the pH or bring it down is we use sulfur. There's a product that's called uh, for bluing hydrangeas. You can find it at your most of your home centers or your really good garden centers. It will not burn the tree. So we just we broadcast the sulfur a little bit, maybe a teaspoon around the tree, and a teaspoon around this tree here, and we do it four times a year, spring, summer, winter, and fall. And we put it in there, and what it does is it balances out the tree, brings the pH down, because in my zone, zone seven water district, we run about 7.2 pH is the water. When we're running in other zones, like in, uh, in the Bay Area on the peninsula, San Carlos, San Mateo, San Francisco, they're running on Hetch Hetchy water. That water is more neutral based, so it's more 6.5 to 6.7. So that's a perfect water. It's almost like rainwater, so it doesn't burn the trees. But because mine is drawing from a well, well water is very hard, this is a result of well water. Okay? It's very hard on the plants, and it can have a tendency to burn. So we use the sulfur to lower the pH down. So as we go on through the summer, we're going to talk about the pH and how important it is. We're going to talk about the watering, how important it is throughout the year to get the plants ready for fall. I'd like to thank you for coming to Maples for All Seasons TV today. This being our first shoot. As everybody knows on the radio and when I'm at shows doing lectures and talking to garden shows, that we sell every product here on our website, which you can go to www.maplesforallseasons.com. 
If you want to contact me personally to ask me questions, you can reach me at Barry, B-A-R-R-Y, at maplesforallseasons.com. Or you can also go to maplesforallseasons at yahoo.com. So you have two different ways to reach us. Our telephone number directly here at the nursery in Pleasanton, which is, by the way, by appointment only because we are uh, constantly traveling to shows all over the western United States. And you can reach me at, on my telephone number at area code 925-596-3345. I hope you enjoyed our first segment. We're going to be covering a lot of different things over the next few months. And I look forward to being here to share you my passion, which we started out as collectors over 21 years ago and have turned this into a wonderful business now that we've been operating over 10 years. So thank you and happy planting.